Hi, in this video for the 4Channel DVR, we're basically going to look at, a little at the um, the recording functionality on this particular DVR. Okay, so to access the functions and the settings, just right click here and go to main menu. By default, it'll ask you for a username and password. And as I say, by default, the username is admin and the password is blank. Now, what we would say is when you get the box or the DVR, first thing you should really do is add a password or change the username or something like this just for security reasons and um, you just don't want to leave it as default so I'm just going to press OK to log in I right click and go back to main menu so what I want to do then is go to record go to record configuration and it'll bring up this menu here and this is basically where you can set up the recording um, configuration so I just have one camera plugged in there at the moment and uh, that's fine. So I'm just going to say on channel one, you know, you get your list of channels there. Now, interestingly, this is a four channel DVR, but the software on it is for an eight. So obviously you don't have eight channels, so you have only one, two, three, four. So um, what you can do here by default, the length is the length or the size of the chunks it's going to be recorded in. By default, it sets it up as 60 minutes. But I find personally that it's probably better off to um, break it into chunks of 15 minutes. So you can set that here. You could say 60 or you could say 15 or you could say whatever you want basically. But that's about the size of that. Okay. So the next thing then to look at is pre-record. So this is perhaps, you know, if you had it set up with triggers and alarms and stuff like that where it'll actually pre-record for the amount of seconds you specify here so I think you can set it up to about a minute to pre-record so you can actually catch what's actually happened before the thing was triggered and um, the next thing to look at here is this redundancy in SD uh, SD card record that isn't a feature that's available on this box so you can ignore that okay so we look at the mode then so we're just going to say a schedule so that's fine so what we can do here is basically we can set it up by day so I'm just going to set it to Thursday and I'm going to say I want to record from, you know, uh, one in the morning to seven in the morning. Okay, so you can set up four different periods. So that's fine. And I think it's it's fairly self-explanatory. You know, we can say from eight thirty to you know seventeen hundred. So, I mean, as I can say, it, it does exactly what it says on the tin there. So, I mean, that's fairly easy. You could obviously use that to set it up just to record all the time. Or you can break it into four different periods. You know, you might want to record when staff are around the place. You might want to record when you're not there. Um, or vice versa, something like that. So, the next thing to look at then is regular and detect. So, regular just means it's a regular record, just record uh, during these specified periods. Detect means that... If it's going to record it's set to record during them periods but only when detect is activated ie something alarms or triggers or something like that and that's basically it and you just press ok then to save and you can just use your right click then to go back to um, your live viewing of your cameras so that's basically it just a little bit about the recording functionality on the four channel DVR